Hello, and welcome back. 16! Yes, and... Episode 16. Like, earlier than, you know, our previous episodes. Yeah, dude, you guys thought we'd be gone for like three months. Or even a year. Or possibly a year. <laughs> We're back. Big yeah. news. Important Big things news. for uh, gamers. For gamers, so... If you're not a gamer, leave now. Yeah, fuck off, you know? Just fuck off. Let's just let's just jump into it. All right. All right. So, what we got to talk about today is the announcement of the PS Five. Yes, the- that alien dystopian tower. <laughs> yeah, and uh, just gonna bring that up on the screen. That's just gonna stay there. That's gonna stay there. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. That's not gonna get us in trouble or anything <laughs> i don't know i doubt it yeah who cares we're tiny yeah no one knows who we are yeah it's just a steel image you can't get in trouble for a steel yeah. image. yeah so we happen to get back home just from, in time from going to the gym and then getting ice cream right after yeah uh, <laughs> very um fulfilling day yeah um sat down uh popped on the, the old soda popping and then he was watching this Sony PS5 showcase thing Mm -hmm. and we thought maybe we had come in after it had already like been going for a while but no we showed up right when they advertised the very first game yeah pretty much at the very fucking beginning yeah bam Uh, um, at first they like showcased a bunch of like old PlayStation games from like what I assume to be PlayStation 1 all the way up to PS4. Yeah, like a bunch of popular franchises and, yeah. and games and stuff. Yeah, and then they just drop in with GTA 5. Uh, yeah. Just, I guess their GTA 5 is going to be in the fifth one, and that's going to be very prominent for some fucking reason. I, I don't know. I mean, G- GTA 5 is a, is a game that people haven't stopped playing. Yeah, mainly because of the online shit. I mean, yeah. online... It's pretty that's, fun. That's what they exclusively said too. They said yeah. GTA Five Online, yeah, will be on the PS Five. Did they say it was gonna be free? I, I could. Have they sworn. said it was gonna be free on launch in 2021. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that's fucking crazy. But if anyone who's playing GTA Five Online on the PS Four currently, you get a million fucking dollars a month for if for just being online. Yeah, a million every month up until the release of the game. Yeah. On PS5. I mean, my thing is like, what the fuck is the point? Like, are you ever going to be? Able, are you going to be able to like transfer your character to PS5? I don't know. I mean, it's a Sony like, like online account thing, right? So why yeah. wouldn't you be able to? I'm know. sure there's like cloud storage or whatever. Uh, maybe, but wait, it is. I said 2021, but I googled it earlier and it said November 20th. I don't know. Did yeah. did the PS the, the GTA thing say 2021 on it? I don't remember. I don't think it said any date. Most games, if they said anything, said 2021. Yeah. But some of them said the holidays. Right. Which means it's definitely coming out this year. It, yeah, it's either going to come out late this year or I'm assuming early next year. I, I think it's going to be this year. Because, uh, like I said, I, I googled that crap and someone... I don't know if it was a guesstimation or what, but they were like, the PS4 came out on like November 13th. And so I think the thing that I saw you reading was like the controllers were like, I was like leaked. leaked Yeah. The controllers were going to come out the November 20th. Yes. It was leaked that the controllers would be in stores November 20th. Yeah. So why would they be in stores? Why would they be in stores if the whole fucking thing isn't in stores? Right. And like I said, like three of the games said, Coming out in the holidays. Yeah, you know? it did. Uh, so, look forward to that. Yeah, dude. free monies uh, for for GTA Online players on the PS4 currently. Yeah. So, um, get fucked Xbox and PC players. <laughs> yeah, from, from what I could tell, like, uh, Rockstar and PlayStation are like... Real good fuck buddies, because they always, like, do shit together. I shit you not. Like, I guess. Like, I always see, like, oh, just for having a PlayStation thing, you get, like, I really just log in on my PlayStation, and they just give me, like, $5 million just for logging in on a PlayStation. Good. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like, I'm like, I'm not complaining, but like, as far as I know, I haven't heard anything about that kind of shit between them and Xbox. Yeah. Or even on the PC. I don't know, man. I don't get too much into the, uh, the politicking, the, the, or the dick sucking between companies. So I, I don't know. But uh, I guess we'll just sort of go through the list of games. Not all of them, because yeah. we weren't interested in all of them. Like, pretty much all the indie titles we're not really going to talk about. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to skim over through some of them, but there are some that we will be, like, discussing. Stray. Yeah, so the f- after GTA showed up, uh, we get a sequel to Spider-Man, you know, mm-hmm. from the... PS4. Yep. And Phenomenal game. It really is. Uh, I love the the swinging mechanics. The 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 fighting mechanics were very smooth. That's what like fluent. that's what everyone was praising about the yeah. game. So the gameplay made you feel like you were Spider Man. It did. It's yeah. like it, it does it way better than any of its predecessors. Mm-hmm. And I, that's one thing that really made me stick around and like beat the game to a hundred percent. Like I have everything <laughs> i don't have like all the achievements but like in game i have uh i collected i got all the collectibles i got all the outfits i did all the dlcs it's mm-hmm. just a very fun game to play and i just really enjoy it and I, i'm so excited for the second one which you'll be playing as miles morales miles morales yeah, and uh did they show any gameplay they did not i didn't think they did but i imagine the uh the swinging in the combat system will be roughly the same right if not improved upon yeah, somehow of course uh i think pretty much every game that said it was coming out next year pretty much didn't have any gameplay the only one that i could think of that had gameplay was oh fuck what what death loop death loop had it um, Ghostwire showed some of it. Kenna, had Kenna, some. yeah, Kenna had some. Uh, Destruction, Destruction All Stars had some, yeah. Um, Gran, Turismo. Gran Turismo definitely did. Gran Turismo looked good. Gran, Gran Turismo definitely did. Uh, and that's about it. I mean, of course, they had some of the indie ones that showed gameplay, but fuck them. <laughs> Yeah, f- fuck the indie companies. <laughs> We're here for the triple A titles yeah. only. We need to make use of that ray tracing technology <laughs> in the PS5. Think I'm gonna get anything out of my ray tracing playing indie games? Fuck no. No. Right. I want my PS4 to be four. I mean PS5 to be 400 degrees at all times, <laughs> maximizing all of the hardware. <laughs> Reducing his lifespan by like 50%. Who knows? Anyways. So yeah, uh, Spider-Man looks really fucking good. Um, right. And Miles oh. Morales was in the first one. and But he was mm-hmm. just like a side character that you dealt with. More so towards the end of the game and mm-hmm. in one of the DLCs. I forget which one. Um, he, he's more prevalent in the game. He's a pretty interesting character. Yeah, dude, he sings that one, um, that one song, song by Post Malone. Yeah, a bunch of times. It's like the only <laughs> song in the whole movie. It's the only song you need to know. I don't even know the words. Anyway, DMCA. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, these are in no particular order, by the way. Uh, for, for as far as I know, it's not really because I'm pretty sure. Gran Turismo was Gran like Turismo was early like the on. second game shown, but yeah. it's like next to the bottom in our list. Yeah, I mean, I, the list I was looking at, it was towards the fucking bottom. I'm like, that doesn't make right. any sense. So anyway, up next we got Little Big Planet, but scratch that, it's called Sackboy. But Boy, it's called yeah, a Sack big Boy. adventure. So for some reason, like I was saying. Oh, when we were talking about this while it was going on. I think it's just called Sackboy because you only play as Sackboy. Like, no other characters really show up yeah. from the little big planet. Like, none of the other potato sack looking people. Yeah. But there's some, like, blue colored chick you I, can also be. I'm pretty sure. I mean, because. And the other little big planet games, you can, like, customize your character. Oh. So I'm pretty sure that. that, that thing is still going to be implemented in the game somehow. Right. And there's definitely a uh, multiplayer because um, that little blue version of Sackboy 
was there, and we're I'm just assuming mm-hmm. that it's a another person. They were playing. like, well, put the put the analysis of a sack boy on hold for a second. Can we talk about just how many people all at the same time were watching that though? I can't remember. It was so like, like over on a million. like on Sony's Twitch channel because it was all on Twitch yeah. on Sony's Twitch channel. It was damn near a million. Um, I'm pretty sure it hit a million at one point. It probably did. It was like 992,000 when I checked or something. Yeah. It probably went up to a million. But then like everyone in my like Twitch following section were all in the special events tab also yeah. watching it. Yes. Like XQC had almost 79,000 viewers. Dr. Disrespect had... I think almost 50,000 or something. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Soda Pop had like 30,000. Yeah. Maximilian Dude had like 46,000. <laughs> like, if you had all the other streamers up that were in that category, but just watching it on their streams, millions. It's millions. Like, because, like, it, oh, like God knows how many other streamers besides those. Like, because when you went on to that tab, even yeah. after it was over, there were still a fuck ton of people yeah. on it. There were, like, the number one person in the category was like 200K. Yeah. I don't even know who that person was. Me neither. <laughs> I don't remember their username. I've never watched any of their streams. So yeah, like m- like millions of people were watching that shit. Even if it was just watching other streamers' reactions. Yeah. Millions of people were watching those Crazy streams. Crazy amount. I was su- kind of really surprised because, you know, everyone always sh- like shits on console all the time. Like, yeah. Why don't you just get a PC? Like... And it's true. Why don't you just get a PC? Yeah. <laughs> Other than for exclusives. Yeah, that, that's pretty much my thing with PlayStation. Like, right, I'm pretty much going to be sticking to the PC now for the most part, but yeah. I really do enjoy the PlayStation exclusives like God of War, Spider Man, Horizon Zero Dawn. Those were really good games. Oh, yeah. In my we'll opinion. get to that sequel in a second, too. Yeah. Anyway, back to Sackboy. Sackboy. Uh, it's multiplayer. It looked cool. It looked colorful. It's I've linear. Never, I've never played a little Big Planet game. I have uh, back in PS3 time. It was like the first one, wasn't it? Uh, I think it was like a, the second one. Oh. I'm not 100% sure. But, you know, it's, it's it it's, was fun. It's platforming. Yeah. And, you know, you can't. It's hard to fuck up platforming. Yeah. You can do platforming with a friend and had, like you said, online multiplayer. Yeah. So, you know, if if you're a fan of that, look out for it. Platform together. Now, we got a new title coming out called Destruction All-Stars. Yes. Yeah. It's it's a demo derby. That's pretty much it. But it looks cool. It, It looks really cool. It looks... They showed gameplay. Yeah, they did. They showed gameplay. Yeah. Uh, fuck it. It's like it's, it was. It was really crazy. So, so it wasn't very clear in the trailer about things because, like, it showed teams of people. Yeah, the only real gameplay show was driving. They didn't show what you could do outside. Yeah, of the car. it showed people running around. That's the thing. Like, you can be outside of a car and like yeah. not eliminated or dead or anything. Yeah, because like it showed like teams, and then it went to like the gameplay section. Where people were driving around in cars, but some people were just running around outside of a car. Yeah. And, like, it wasn't very clear as as to whether, like, you can eject yourself out of your car and that's why you're out there. Or, like, if your car gets destroyed. Or if your car you gets blown get, up. Yeah. Or if you can just start not in a car. Yeah. Like, they had didn't really say anything. Yeah. But it did show one dude kicking another dude in the back when they were both out of a car. Yeah, so I there I guess there is on the ground fighting if you find your enemy yeah. outside of a car. It also we saw showed, this like one Genji yeah. dude. Yeah. Uh just hopped onto a car. He did something, jumped off and the fucker just blew up. Yeah, he hopped on a roof of a car, jumped off and the car blew up. I I assume he put a mine or an explosive yeah. on it. So I mean, you're like the game isn't over if you get booed out of the car, but we're right. st- still not quite sure how the point system works, or if there is a if point there is system. a point system. We don't know if it's like if there are multiple rounds where one team is in cars and the other team is not in cars. Yeah. Or, but it did show it showed that one dude that like bigger looking dude like a luchador mask. Mm-hmm. It showed like him and then a like a car. And then it used like an ability where it put a big shield on the front of the car. Yeah, each car gets its own abilities. It seems like. Yeah, it looks like cars get their like own one, abilities. Yeah, one got that shield, and then this one chick got a 
fuck off big blade in the front of the car. She just mm-hmm. diced one in half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it looks like a crazy good time. Yep. But I'm I'm still waiting for to hear more about it in the future. Right. And and like I was like I was telling Sledge earlier, um, it looks like you might be able to customize your character some. Yeah. Because it like it showed people with like helmets and masks and like. I hope, there, I hope there's some customization. I hope there's no real loot. Well, I mean, <laughs> if there's customization, you know, there's going to be yeah, loot boxes. Because how else are you going to unlock that crap? That's true. You're going to build up an XP bar and then you're going to get a loot box. Cause that's what every company does now. Yeah. Unfortunate. But hey, that doesn't make the gameplay worse. No, as long as this doesn't affect the gameplay, I'm fine with it. Yeah. It looked really cool. Uh, that's Destruction All Stars, and then we got one another new title called Kenna Bridge of Spirit. That looked really good. Or spirits? Am I not yeah. copy pasted the S at the end? Looks super good. It looks really fucking good, and I'm kind of agreeing with Soda. It's like, like I'm not looking for like photorealistic graphics. Mm-hmm. I just want something that looks really good. Mm-hmm. And this thing looks fucking beautiful. It does look really good. Like it does look a little cartoony. You yeah. know, it doesn't it doesn't look hyper realistic like a lot of games are trying to go for. It definitely has like a style to it. Yeah. And that style is very good. It really is. Um but yeah, it showed gameplay. Like it's it's like this chick meditating in some grassy forest and some I'm assuming Japanese dude is speaking to her in her mind and like putting her down and shit. And like, as she's sitting here meditating, like next to her, it shows a bow. And then after it shows the bow, it goes to a clip of gameplay with the bow. And then the dude keeps talking and then it goes to a staff and then it shows gameplay of the staff. Right. And both of them look very cool. Very interesting. Um, some necklace she's wearing gets broken into pieces and she falls into some water. Yeah, and guess um, that, like, probably want to, like, hunt for those shards. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what I thought. Like, you're probably going to have to hunt for the shards of your necklace. But also, really cool thing is that there are all these little, like, furry little fuzzy nature spirit things. Oh, yeah, it's like uh, that the Pikmin games. Yeah, and you can help them, or you can get them to help you, like, solve puzzles and stuff. Like, it showed... The Kenna, like, getting the little spirit things to, like, pick up a pillar for her and place it in a spot and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I think you also use them to, like, attack your enemies. Because, like, I saw, like, like one of the one of the clips was, like, they were all, like, covering up an enemy and she was still shooting it with a bow. Mm-hmm. And they were glowing every time it hit. And then the enemy just blew up. So I don't know if they're like a conductor of some sorts for Maybe. fighting. <laughs> Maybe after you shoot them with a bow X amount of times, they explode. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So. It looked very cool. Uh, uh, that's Kenna. Yeah, that's Kenna. Next we got... Who? Uh, <laughs> everyone that was in the chat was spamming nay and, s- and like resident baby- sleeper. I was, and I, was, I saw a good amount of baby rage. Yeah, on this freaking game. It's, or is it a game? I don't know. Is it a show? It looks like a show. A very shitty show. All okay. right, tell them. This, this bitch is called Goodbye Volcano High. <laughs> it stars an angsty teenager all fucking filled with like, oh, fuck, I hate everything and everything hates me. I bullshit. have self out. Yeah, and uh, it, it's like in the prehistoric era, but you know, futuristic. Yeah, it's called Volcano High because all the fucking students are dinosaurs. Fucking furries. I swear to God. There was a huge furry agenda <laughs> during this showcase. <laughs> Holy crap. When it, sh- when it showed oh, Sackboy, when it showed Sackboy, it didn't show him. It showed him in a tiger outfit. <laughs> yeah. And then there's uh, Volcano High, which is all dinosaur people, which like, whatever the reptilian people are called, scalies suck my dick. Um, <laughs> Death Loop, like all a lot of the bad guys are wearing fucking wolf, wolf masks. masks. Uh, Stray is just you're just straight up a cat. You're a cat, even though it looks really interesting. I still want to play the shit out of Stray because I want to be a cat just roaming around and doing well, my thing. We'll get we'll get to that one. 
but <laughs> goodbye volcano. <laughs> yeah, it was all like a fucking cut scene. But it looked, it like, looked like a show. It looked like a cartoon, like something you see on fucking Cartoon Network. Yeah, and it had that typical cartoon bad FPS. Yeah. Um. But it was just, it was seriously just like this f- female, what, was she a triceratops? No, she was like a pterodactyl yeah, thing. Yeah, she was a pterodactyl. She played her, a bass guitar in a band at one point. Yeah, and like her best friend was like a triceratops. But, yeah. And she was, they were, it was just mopey as shit. Yeah. And she was like, uh, I don't feel good about myself. Apparently, I never feel good about myself. But also... High school's about to end because I'm holding a yearbook and I t- put tape on it and it says goodbye on the tape. It's like she all she did was just throw away a fucking yearbook. I'm yeah. like, she put why? she threw a yearbook into a bonfire and was like all sad, like, oh, high school's over. Like, bitch, your parents paid for that fucking book. <laughs> yeah, for first off, you probably didn't pay for that yearbook. <laughs> It's like, what the fuck? And what do you have to be so fucking sad about if you think your life is over after high school? Like, you, like, just end it, after, for <laughs> real. Like, if that's the case, <laughs> just, just, just cease. Okay? Oh, and, my God. But, like, not just her. Fucking everyone was sad. Yeah, even, like, this other pterodactyl dude with, like, weird yeah. fucking hippie hair. It was like it was trying to be Adventure Time. Because Adventure Time like started getting more into like, like youth problems in its later episodes and seasons and shit. Yeah, but like, it did it real bad. Very bad. Um, it 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 just went in too hard on the angsty teen. It's so angsty, dude. <laughs> it's so bad. It's like, oh, my life's gonna be over after high school, but I'm also sad all the time right now, and like we're all sad, and my friends are sad, and we're confused, and uh, I play in a band. Obviously, didn't get beaten enough as a kid. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what does she have to be sad about? Like, did they tell the students, like, oh, when you guys graduate high school, a meteor is going to fall from space into the fucking coast of Mexico and destroy all life on Earth? That'd like, be hilarious. That'd be so fucking funny. I mean, that's what happened 65 million years ago. <laughs> I know, but, like, still, it's like, oh, that'd be so fucking hilarious. Like, like then I would be sad. Yeah. Like, if I knew I had this much time... But literally, no, nothing other than, ooh, I'm sad, everyone's sad. That's all that was shown in the it trailer. D- That's also, all they said. It never shows if it's a game. It's just, a, <laughs> it's a cartoon, but you don't know if it's a game. Like, if it's a game, it's like... Is it like a point and click shit? Like that's the only thing I can see what, it be a visual novel. I don't know. Yeah, I was like, my my. I told you when we were watching, like it's probably a dating sim. <laughs> it, 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 I genuinely believe it's gonna be a shitty dating sim. I don't know. It looked stupid. It looked like it was trying to capitalize on people that are sad. I don't know, like sad sixteen year olds. <laughs> Probably people that are like put down and made fun of all the time because they're a, a furry or a weeb, <laughs> um, or I don't know, I I don't know, dude. It's probably gonna have some sort of like transsexual thing in it. I don't because know because transsexual yeah. people are like constantly in distress. It seems never grew up. Yeah, I don't know. So. Yeah. Anyway, we're done with that. Yeah, we're done talking we're about that. that. If we're, yeah, Odd World. Our world's getting the sequel. Odd World, sequel. Odd World Two. I don't know if it's two. It's not sure called two. It's not. I don't know. It's called. It's Odd World. Uh, if you played it back in like the original PS, there's an alien man. For some reason, he has leather X's covering his mouth. Well, the story about Odd World is that raspy voiced aliens. <laughs> His kind was put into slavery to make this company money, but also whenever one of them dies, they use their body to make food for the company, and then they also eat said food because there's nothing else to eat. Oh, it's like that one movie I watched with my mom that had like six different stories going on at the same time with Tom Hanks in it, and we're like... That one Asian chick discovers that she's a clone, so she gets out 
before she gets mass killed like all the other clones and she goes to the factory where they make the clones and finds out that like the clones they kill get repurposed into just nutrients for the clones and she's like we were eating ourselves the whole time holy shit yeah Yeah. but it's something like that and i think his kind is also mass bred just to keep the company afloat yeah so they do everything but why was he the only one with a mouth covering I think because he was also a part of that slavery, and when he escaped, he never really cut the the things off. He never severed his bonds. Yeah. So I think whenever he came back to rescue his people and just didn't cut his off. But I mean, I saw people in the trailer have like a bunch of dots over their lips. Yeah. I mean, that's what they did. They like they sewed their mouth shut, and sometimes they even sewed your eyes shut. If, huh. like, depending on the job, I guess. Who doesn't really do a good job of it, though, because he could still open his mouth and everything. Yeah, I know. But there was that one point in the trailer where that raspy-voiced, like, shamanistic woman was like, Find your voice! And it showed him, like, cutting one of the leather straps with a knife over his mouth or whatever. Yeah. So. The man's gonna speak. Yeah. If. Cause I don't think he really ever did in the other games. Yeah. But. He's going to talk. Yeah. I mean, if you played the original games from when I... I never played the original games. I watched gameplay. I never played it either. Yeah. I didn't even watch gameplay. Um, like, later in the game, you had to, like, you know, try to rescue your people by, like, navigating through these platforms and shit. And from what I could tell, it's very hard. Because they always, like, would walk into danger and get fucking Yeah, killed. that's the way it looked in this trailer. Yeah. It was like... There's like this little gap and you could hop the gap, but also there was this like laser on top of the gap. So like when the dude in the trailer (laughs) hopped the gap and then the little followers started following behind him, the laser instantly targeted them and like murked half of them. Damn, they're all just got destroyed. Yeah. So it it looks like a very difficult platforming game and management type shit. The guy who came on... Before it showed the show, yeah. was talking specifically about how like they were gonna make death funny or something. Yeah, he said something like that. It's like a failure will be humorous or some shit. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't Rocky know. good times with mass murder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to all of you listening out there, uh. Triangle, circle, X, square, 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 triangle, circle, X, square. That's probably about as many times as we saw it. Yeah. Probably actually less. Yeah. Uh, you had to be there to understand. There, Every time <laughs> in between a game trailer or between someone talking, they just did this like... It was a different one every time. Well, I think like at least four of them were like the exact same thing, but like just they just rotated yeah. them differently. It just kept showing the four buttons on the PlayStation controller. Yeah. And they would like rise up from the earth and be three dimensional. And it was always triangle, circle, X, square. It yeah, was always then, in that order. And they would turn to pillars, then go back into the ground, and then just turn into like these. Uh, it was. It made no sense. That's where half the budget for the showcase went. <laughs> for real, dude. Because like ah, the amount of three D rendering type bullshit that they had to do, yeah. Just especially to for all those little balls when they made them, when they made it out of those little teeny tiny balls. Yeah, there yeah, was like an ocean when, of those. Yeah, when they were like originally showcasing the showcasing the actual console, they're like had the, these orbs like undulating, showing the triangle X circle square bullshit. And they just parted the Red Sea of it, mm-hmm. and then it turned into the fucking PlayStation. Yeah. It was and weird. And even then, when it was doing, like, pan shots over the surface of the PS5, was like, there was, like, a like this really, like, really textured look on, like, the white part of the PS5. Yeah. They, like, really zoomed in on like, that. They put a ton of detail into this white plastic. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I really do like this look. Uh-huh. I mean, it's better than that big fucking space station. It looks like a thing. building you would see in Dubai. It does. 
Anyway, we'll we'll get we'll get to the console later. We're right. Gonna, we're going to get through. Um, that was Odd World. <laughs> yeah, but you know, <laughs> Triangle Circle X Square. Um, the next game we got going on is Ghostwire Tokyo. You told me that you were really yeah. Looking forward to I this. was looking very much forward to this. I think was it like E three or something? Yeah, last they, year they showed like a little trailer. Yeah, you know this really cute Japanese chick out there talking about it. Oh um, yeah, I remember her. I showed this trailer and I was like, man, that looks really cool. It's it all like, it's like modern day Tokyo and there are ghosts and stuff, but there's like some sort of a mystery. And I was like, that looks really cool. Mm. And then my enthusiasm plunged. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw it. I when like, oh, I saw God. the gameplay, something about it just rubbed me the wrong way. It's like, it did me too. It's like first person. And then, like, your hands are showing... So it was, like, Bioshock. Yeah. It was, like, playing Bioshock. And, like... But you were a ninja from the Leaf Village. Yeah, I don't know. You were doing different hand symbols, and, like, magic would come out of your hands. At one point, this dude was just, like, chopping, and shit was flying out of his hands. There's, like, a karate chop motion. Yeah. That, like, fire just comes out of your karate chop hand. Anyway... So I didn't like that they, I feel like, I feel like it was some sort of a cop out. Like there's this brand new game, a a new intelligent property, Mm -hmm. right? And it's like, uh, we didn't do anything new with the gameplay. Like we gave it first person, hands up, you're playing Bioshock and you have abilities like you're in Bioshock. Yeah. Like my thing was like in the original E3 trailer, it was like very dark grunt like yeah, yeah it's like it looked like very intimidating type type of game and yeah. i was really looking forward to that but once we saw the gameplay everything was brighter everything was more open everything was brighter and i only ever saw like one enemy at a time yeah and there was like repeating enemies yeah also i didn't like that it looked it looked pretty linear to me. It did. You didn't look like you had much space to roam around on the sides. Yeah. It looked like you were pretty much going forward all the time. But we, we, we it could not be because like there's like a few scenes where like the street was pretty open. Yeah. But it was just you and the fucking Slender Man wannabe. Yeah, and you, the, you and like one other thing. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm not asking for waves and waves and like hordes of enemies all the time, but like seriously, every time it showed an altercation... It was one thing. I I can probably count on like one hand how many enemies types we saw. We got that man. faceless businessman with the umbrella, headless headless school chick. Yep. Um, this little tiny um person in an umbrella coat that summoned those things. Yep. And like this weird floating banshee thing. That, yeah. That, that's yeah. Odd. There were like four of them. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, that's. That's rather disappointing. I mean, of course, they're not going to show the, all the enemy types, but right. like, fuck, man, give us like, if this is like, just give us like more variety because you can't just r- rely on maybe like 10 or so type yeah. of enemies. Like me personally, I would prefer, I would have preferred it to be third person. I would rather see myself running around, walking around in these like dark, dingy streets, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and then just like, I don't know, if you still want me to use the shinobi magic or whatever, um, just like have me aim it, right? Like, be, yeah. like let it be action combat. Yeah. Because there's like no aiming involved at all on the trailer because the enemy, <coughs> the enemy is like Sorry. four feet from your face and it's first person. So they take up the whole screen. Yeah. You know, it's just like you press the button. Yeah, the field of view was kind of... Narrow. Oh uh, yeah, it was off putting. It was a narrow field of view, definitely. You had like no peripheral vision. Yeah, it it was I, I didn't like it one bit. I don't know, like needless to say, that really killed my enthusiasm. Like I don't know how many times I'm repeatedly gonna be fire chopping over and over and over. Yeah. And stuff like that. I I don't it looked like it might be really repetitive and the enemy types might be very repetitive. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> we would have to wait and see. Cause like all all the trailers really they they were like they showed very little to nothing about the game, mm-hmm. which kind of irked me a little bit. But it's whatever, I guess. Yeah. So anyway, and that that was Ghostwire Tokyo. We're Ghostwire we're, Tokyo. We're uh, next up, we got uh, Groundhog Day Sci-Fi Edition. Uh, re- no, you mean Edge of Tomorrow, the video game. <laughs> 
<laughs> the next game is called Returnal. Returnal. And t- that name just fuck. All right, well, we'll get to- okay, the game is about It's a bad name. It's a bad name, but the game is about this chick who is like a, a pilot of this of this like spaceship. Yeah. Uh it was like an X-wing type shit. And she crash lands onto this planet and she just gets killed over and over and over again. Yeah, she repeat there were like three things she kept repeating. She was like something pla- uh cr- something crash death like yeah. over and over and over. So I think you're trying to figure out why this what on this planet is like bringing you back to life. I think it's again. basically like I forget what that one <clears throat> game was, but it was like you're meant to die a lot, but in each new life you get like a bit further in the story. I don't remember what game that was. I don't either. It sounds familiar. Ooh, sounds familiar. <laughs> sounds uh, true. But yeah, like it was seriously like this space woman. Not she's not a space woman. She's a human yeah. in a space outfit. Yes. And she crashes and dies on this planet, and that just keeps happening over yeah. and over as she fight thing as she fights things. Yeah, and. Uh, I don't like the camera on the because like it showed like very minor gameplay. It game did play. show a little bit of gameplay. It was like this action cam where your character was like all the way over to the left side of the yeah. screen. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, and there's a good amount of like shoot 'em up type shit, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of gunplay. There was some shooting. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that because I was kind of, I would actually prefer if it was more, you know, scary run from the things yeah i mean more like the the first dead space game you know because like ammo was very limiting and if you see something you pretty much had to like fucking run away from it Uh, i don't know i've because like dead space was all about dismemberment oh yeah because you have to dismember them to kill them Yeah, yeah yeah but but like you only have so much ammo i guess yeah ammo was very limiting limiting I can't say that fucking word right. Uh, but yeah, it looks like a horror there wasn't, type game. There, there really wasn't a lot to go off of with this really game. It, wasn't. it was just a couple of snippets of like some shooting. Yeah. And that was really it. Yeah, you saw some of the monsters that you come across. Yeah. Would look pretty uh, Lovecraftian. I suppose. A lot, of, a lot of tentacles. Yeah, that's a really popular thing in yeah. this decade or past and this decade now yeah uh yeah that was returnal um bad name bad name change it please uh next we got godfall which looks like a early 2000 uh, ps4 game it was like an early ps4 game i'm not gonna lie i'm drawing a blank already again i know i asked you before (laughs) we started this what was that game again and i've already forgotten yeah it's very forgettable it's what what was it it was that one where you like it claimed to have like epic weapon styles and like god. Oh, armor. it was like uh, it was like basically like uh, like slay the spire or whatever. It seemed mm-hmm. like you, but you know, slay the spire is like you use cards and crap to go through the levels. But yeah. this this is basically like you're a person that was like you have epic weapons to master. But every single weapon that it showed all had the same attack. You were just holding a different weapon. Mm-hmm. They were all um, pull your weapon to the right and swing it horizontally to the left. Yeah. On, I think, all four? All four Pretty weapon much, types? Yeah. And then it showed all four weapon types holding it over your head and swinging it down. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell? Like, none of these weapons play any differently from each other? No, there's really no epic fighting in this game. You're just like, you take a big swing and you kill things in front of you. Yeah, and it looks like there are boss enemies at whatever intervals. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a soul game. It but didn't like... explain a whole lot. <laughs> there, it showed zero plot. I mean, I guess there doesn't have to be plot. You can just be a dude. Trying to see as far as you can get. I'm okay with that. I mean, kind of, it's kind of what Souls is, you know? Yeah. You just go one place to another and just kill things. Souls has lore, though. It does, but who cares? I mean, honestly, I don't. Exactly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this game, Godfall, it was just like, 
Yeah, master epic weapons and get really cool looking armor and fight enemies. And yeah. it probably had the most gameplay out of anything. Well, I don't know. Ratchet yeah. and Clank probably did. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank had a lot more. But uh, yeah, Godfall. I don't know. It looked like it didn't have like a triple A budget, but it didn't look very indie either. Yeah, uh, it, it looked like one of those games. I, I I was telling Sledge, I was like, I don't want this to be sixty dollars when it comes out, but I know it's, <laughs> it's going to it's be so sixty dollars. It one hundred percent will be. If all it is is like no plot and you just seeing how many enemies you can kill and how far you can go before you die. If that's the whole game, mm -hmm. that needs to be like thirty dollars. Yeah, it really does. But uh, I, I was telling you earlier, uh, Maximilian, uh, he was really ranting on the game how like it wasn't sixty FPS. Right. Yeah. Because like yeah, yeah, yeah. he actually went to their uh, YouTube channel, like downloaded the. Uh, trailer and uh -huh. then just went through and counted how many frames were in a second mm -hmm. and he counted like 40. He was like he was like really bitching about that for some reason. Oh really? Yeah. So they don't have 60 frames in their trailers? <laughs> no they don't. Probably the, probably the best one that even even like out like on the, on YouTube and on their own trailer Pragmata had like the cleanest fucking trailer out of everything I've seen. Yeah, that was 100% cinematic, though. It like, was. There was no gameplay in that. I know, but, you know, just in comparison to everything. Yeah. So, anyway, that's Godfall. It's very un very forgettable. You're going to forget about it once you stop listening. Probably. So, next we got an indie game that, out of all the indie games, this one looked the most interesting, was Solar Ash. Um, the the developers that make this that make this game are pretty much well known for making um hack and slash type games where you where you just mm -hmm. run and you just slash things to death and mm -hmm. like very mm -hmm. epic styles. So I'm assuming that's what Solar Ash is going to be. You know, the trailer is like you were in a spaceship and you just for some reason hop into a black hole. Yeah, and and then like some like female entity that was an alien but looked really similar to the way you look because you don't look all that human either yeah it was like ah you've arrived big fucking mistake kid <laughs> and like just charges your ass and also she's in like a realm of blood yeah when you find her because she's just like levitating and then there's like all red all around you and like red droplets are falling to the sky or falling to the floor I think yeah so yeah but then you just get warped into this other like it looks really pretty it's very colorful and yeah. pretty but like you got warped to this other place and you just sort of ran in a straight line or something yeah I. it didn't show any gameplay it didn't it just showed you running and then the world turned upside down, and then it was like solar ash. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we don't know why the character decided to uh, grapple hook onto an asteroid that was going into uh, a black hole. Uh, I guess we don't need to know. Yeah. Or why there was some strange, like, godlike entity that was like, you fucked up, kid. Yeah, that for, looked oddly similar to you. Maybe it will get explained. As you play through the game, hopefully, hopefully there's actual lore, or maybe fuck, maybe they, maybe they're like, hey, you're just some asshole going to a different dimension to fuck shit up. No, I don't know. We we can't say if it's good or bad. We really didn't see anything about it. Yeah, but um, it looked interesting. Yeah, Solar Ash. Solar Ash, and next we got the third sequel to the Hitman series. Is this the third sequel or the third game? Third game. Oh, okay. You know, because you got Hitman, and then you got Hitman 2. And then you have Hitman, Hitman. Automata. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hitman 3. Yeah. It was his most, uh, based on what the guy in the game trailer said, uh, his most dangerous and intimate, intimate contract yeah. yet. Yeah. Um, and it showed some woman in a dress. That's actually his handler with the company that he's, that he's with right now. He's going to kill her. 
He killed the last chick that was his handler in his last company. Oh, so, Lord knows what's going to happen. He's going to kill her. Probably. I don't know. I mean, like, I, I, right after that dude said that, it showed that woman turning around. So it might turn out to be like a, a John Wick thing where he's like, nah, man. And then everyone comes after him and he just fucking kills everyone. I don't know. I'm down with that. I was telling, I was telling Sledge earlier, I was like, they need to have a death battle where it's Agent 47 and John Wick Dude, fighting each other. That would be sick. Because they're both just the best badasses you've ever yeah. fucking seen. They're the best assassins in the world. Yeah. I mean, because Agent 47, it, like, killed all his clones. There yeah, was, dude. And like, even the ones that were supposed to be better than him. Fuck them. Yeah. So, that'd be really cool. And John Wick's the boogeyman. He is the boogeyman. I wouldn't want to fucking see John Bobby. Wick. He once killed three men in a bar with a pencil. Yeah. Then he killed three men in a hallway with a pencil. Two men, actually. You mean? In that subway thing? Yeah. Yeah, he went to like this weird, like, I guess there was like a bar in the subway. Yeah. Yeah, he picked up a pencil. He killed two, only two guys were chasing him, but he killed both of them with a pencil. I thought there were three. Anyway, it's still pretty cool. Yeah. Watch the John Wick series. Yes. Um, so yeah, not really much to say about Hitman 3, because if you played Hitman 1 or 2, I'm just going to assume it's just like those. But it's good. It's good. I really enjoy them. They're they're very hard, but they're very enjoyable once you figure out how they yeah. the mechanics work. It's like playing the very first Splinter Cell game. Yeah. And next we got Demon Souls, not just Demon Souls. Demon's Souls, which I'm assuming is the sequel to the first Demon Soul. It just showed a bunch of pan shots and enemies. Yeah. But all is it's a Souls game. It's a Souls game. You don't need to see gameplay. Yeah, really. You, I mean, but there were cool enemies. There were cool. There's this one guy that had, was like 20 feet tall, and he had a shield the entire size of his body. I think he was bigger than 20 feet. And I was like, I want that man shield. I, I do too. It kind of reminds me of like maybe the second Dark Soul game, where this dude's like entire shield was also the size of him and it was like made out of uh i forget what type of stone but he was ever watch those do you ever watch those videos i found them on youtube years ago when i was in high school this guy that called himself the wall the wall he would play like dark souls online and he just had a tower shield in both hands yeah he just had a shield in both hands and like (laughs) push people off of edges and things yeah that's that's pretty good. Yeah, it's souls. That's all. It's you souls. Need, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a souls game. Yeah. Uh, now now we got Death Loop, which is another Groundhog's Day game. Uh, where you apparently on this island, everyone is like, it living in this loop. It was the assassin versus assassin thing. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. Like. You're playing this dude who's like, I got to get to this target or something. There's like four people he has to kill yeah. by midnight. There were like four targets he had to kill before midnight. And there's this big intercom announcement that like, you were on the island or wherever it was. And yeah. everyone was required by law to kill you if they saw you. Yeah. So not no one is your friend. No one. And on top of everyone trying to kill you, there's this... Sniper woman, yeah, who at any time I'm assuming could just snipe your ass, yeah. Um, or it did show her like running up to you in a hallway once, yeah. It, I think that it has a uh, PvP in it where you actually play as the woman. It did at the very end of the trailer, it showed her and then it like went inside her eyes and then it went first person with like her holding two machine guns or something. Yeah, so I'm assuming it was going to be kind of something similar to how like Dark Souls t- type of shit runs where someone can invade your game and then try to kill you. I think it might be like, um, what's that one game where one person is like in a ballroom trying to get something done and then another person is a sniper and they're trying to find oh, the player yeah. and yeah, kill yeah. the player before that player can accomplish their mission. Yeah, I know the game I'm talking about, but I I don't see I don't see it being like that because you know 
what the character looks like in like yeah i mean like obviously like the game's not going to be so small that you're going to be constricted to like one room or Mm -hmm. whatever but i don't know it looks pretty interesting even though it's i think it's just produced by bethesda it's not developed by bethesda but i guess but that's just published you mean yeah Yeah. that's what i meant published uh because bethesda just had a real bad run of things lately yeah, it did look interesting. Yeah. Like, everyone's after you. You gotta kill these people. But also, Assassin Woman could come murk your ass. And you gotta, I guess, fight her off, too. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's possible to fight her off or if you're supposed to run. Because the guy said in the trailer, like, the character you play as was <laughs> like, yeah, she kicks the shit out of me, you know? Yeah. Well, in the E3 of last year, um, it, you... From, from, from what I understand, you can both kill each other. Like if okay. if you play as the woman, yeah, it's it's a give and take type shit. Okay, okay, cool. So yeah, I yeah. wonder. I wonder. It definitely seems like there's gonna be player versus player. I wonder if it's gonna be just PVE, yeah. where like the the woman is just yeah or CPU. Like, yeah, if you, I wonder what would be harder because if she just has a sniper all the time as a CPU, that'd be a bitch. Yeah, I don't know. It depends on how skilled the players are, I guess. Maybe there's a level of difficulty you can select. Maybe. We don't know. But that's uh, Deathloop. Yep. Uh, up next, we got Resident Evil 8. Yeah. Called Village. Village. Yeah. That, um, they, they threw us for a loop at, yeah, at I, that reveal. I had no idea it was a it was Resident Evil game. Because they were like, <laughs> they showed this big trailer, and it's like definitely somewhere in like, East Europe, there's a giant like Dracula castle outside this village. Yeah. Everything's cold, et cetera, et cetera. I can't like question like what like yeah. what what year is this? Like things are hunting people. People are dressed like they're from three different centuries. Yeah. And then at the end it says village. And you're like, oh, okay, so that's a new game. But then it like makes the other it makes the the V the bottom little sticks on the L's disappear and yeah. all the other letters and it keeps V I L and L and it turns that into an a Roman numeral eight. Yeah. And then it's like Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it does the same thing as uh seven. And it looks the gameplay looks almost exactly like seven as well. So I wouldn't know. Wouldn't know. I think the Last time I played Resident Evil was like four on the PS2. Yeah. I watched PewDiePie play seven all the way through. Uh, it's was it's, four on the PS2. Huh? Was four on the PS2? I don't know. The one that had the dude is like, "What are you buying, stranger?" Like, that <laughs> yeah, guy. Yeah, that was that was PS2. Okay, I'm yeah, sure. that's the last one I played. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, shit. What was I saying? Oh yeah, it's basically. I mean, if you if you watch any or played any gameplay of uh, Seven, then you pretty much know what it's going to be like. But basically, you're it's, it's first person, and resources are very limited, and combat is very difficult. Because <laughs> like, whenever any enemy comes up, you know whatever weapons you happen to find or unlock, uh, you just gotta pray to God that you have the ammo to deal with it. Oh. Huh. So, uh, seven looked really fucking horrifying to me. So I didn't play it cause I'm a little bitch. Uh, but eight, uh, the trailer for eight was like, uh, you were like walking through some dudes. It's like all at night. The trailer is always at nighttime. Yeah. Like no matter what's happening. Um, and you're walking I think through it was daytime a lot of time, but it was just like heavily overcast. Maybe. But you're just like, you're walking through this old wooden home and the dude pulls back this curtain over a doorway and immediately the person behind the curtain like fires at you and you're like, no, 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 I'm friendly. I'm friendly. I don't know how you didn't get shot in that. Yeah, for real. The dude has a fucking double barrel shotgun, by the way. Like you like you should have been like, put a big old hole in that yeah. dude's chest. But you're like, whoa, 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 I'm friendly. And he's like, oh, fuck. Sorry, dude. He's like, wait, oh shit. You hear that shit? Oh, they're coming. And I'm like, yeah, I fucking wonder why they're coming. You just fired a shotgun. Yeah. And then like this thing's arm like reaches down from the roof and like pulls the old man and I assume kills him. And then another one reaches from the ground and pulls you down. Yeah. So 
And then well, I'm assuming some dude from Umbrella comes in because like that dude in that trench coat is like mm-hmm. hands behind his back. I was like, I'm assuming Umbrella comes in and then that's why everything is fucked. It did show a guy just turning into a werewolf. I think that's just a super zombie. He, he straight up looked like a werewolf. It looked like a werewolf that didn't go full dog. It, he reminded me of Solomon Grundy, if you know who that is, from DC. Yeah. 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 So. But yeah, new Resident Evil game, everyone. Yeah. For all you Res fans out there. Yeah. Uh, next we got Pragmata. It's a right. another, another new game. Yep. New title. Uh, it showed they, no gameplay. It showed no gameplay, but the cinematic was very interesting. Yes. Um... Basically, you you walk you walk around what looks like New, what looks like New York, and he shoots like this thing up in the air. Then like these little stars come down. Then he turns on this vision thing where he sees like highlights of this little girl. So I'm like, he's following that. I'm assuming, and he comes upon this girl, and she has this hologram cat that you could see through and see its innards. Yeah, but half of its innards were like cybernetic and half of them were organic. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah, it was I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that one. But bit. the cat was a hologram. But then the, was it like is it just does it just make its skin a hologram? Or? I don't I don't know, dude. I don't know. Either way. Look, a satellite falls into Earth, okay? Oh, if it falls through the sky. Let's just make that clear. Yeah, a satellite this- falls like, through the atmosphere. I guess, I don't know if Earth has an atmosphere. I, I don't know, know what's like, going on. The sky was a fucking screen. And the side just bashes through that. Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah. I don't remember exactly. The dude has a gun that creates a weird net mesh that deflects the satellite. But I think it's created by the little girl because, like, she grabs onto his helmet Mm -hmm. and her eyes light up. And then it goes like this little backpack where it, like, 3D generates this little canister. He shoots that and it creates this ball where it just like deflects it's, shit. It's better Banjo Kazooie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, and then like so after they are safe from the satellite that crashes into the planet, it's like they get vacuumed out into space. Yeah, I don't understand. Like the gravity just like fucking turned off. For yeah, some reason. and then they land on the moon. The little girl says something I don't remember. I don't remember. And he's like, this is our freedom. And I was like, dude, what are you going to do on the moon? Yeah. And the earth looked different, but I couldn't really like understand what was going on about it. Like why it was the way it was. I don't know. I didn't even notice that the sky was a screen. Yeah. Cause so. like the moon while well, it was like flickering and then just poof, a lot of things, charged. a lot of things flickered. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot going on in that video. And like, cause when he finds a little girl, she's staring at a skyscraper that has, been bent over into itself with these weird like root shit like tangling it into mm-hmm. it. It was it was weird. It was so fucking weird. I have no idea what's so, going on. So somehow Earth is a prison. And there's they, no one else besides this. When they when they got to the moon, he was like, This is our freedom. Uh he was in a big old spacesuit with like a this giant machinery backpack thing also on the suit. Yeah. Um. So I don't think he's a robot like she is. Yeah, because he needs oxygen and shit. But yeah. Uh, once once they li- like, cause the little girl is just wearing a fucking big old jacket. She's wearing like a blue jacket and some jeans. Yeah. And you don't even know that she's a robot until like her eyes light up at that one point. Yeah. And then they land on the moon and she is just fine. Yeah, and she has like a robotic sounding voice when she speaks on the moon. Yeah. It's yeah. weird. I don't know. There's a dude and a girl, and the girl helps you, yeah. and that's all it showed. Yeah. There was no gameplay. Could be good. Could be bad. Could be bad. We don't know. We shall see. That was Pragmata. Prag- Pragmata. Pragmata. Yeah. Next, we got Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo 7. 
I yes. think underneath the seven, it said like realistic driving simulator. Yeah, they they're really. Uh, I never stroking their dick on that one. Yeah, I've never noticed that before on a on a Gran Turismo like title. Yeah. Uh, also, I've really only played the first one on PS One, so <laughs> I don't know. But it looked super cool. Um, yeah, it looked like a next gen type. It showed, game. yeah, it showed the point of view of like. You in the car, driving the steering wheel, it showed the speedometer, all that kind of stuff, and it just looked like a really good racing game. It showed, like, this between missions or home screen thing where everything was, like, black, and there was a grid, and there were these little icons you could go to to select, like, I guess what mode you wanted to do, yeah. and, like, the one that the person went to in the trailer, like, was, like, the one where you customize your car. Yeah. Um that's all I, it really showed. I didn't really like that menu setup. It looked kinda I don't know, lacking for like a triple A title. It looked okay to me. I mean I didn't have a problem with it. It was just like these little icons and you go to the icon for what you want to do. And they just sort of went to the, the garage. That's all they really did. But uh it showed a bunch of racing gameplay it showed a dude going almost 300 kilometers an hour coming up to a curve yeah and then he's not wiping out he slammed the brakes down to like 90 kilometers an hour and like got around the curve and it was pretty cool yeah. um well but you know for a fact that they're using a, a wheel controller forza forza yeah. was the Title I was thinking about when I said formula one yeah earlier I was talking it's not like the Ones that are like, you're like basically in a cockpit in a car. Yeah, Formula One cars. Oh, okay. That's why I called it Forza. But yeah, I was telling such, I was like, I don't want this to control like Forza does. Because while Forza looks very cool, I've played Forza before. And Jesus Christ, I, it's so sensitive. I mean, maybe <laughs> it's more realistic playing that way. I don't know. But it was so loose and sensitive at the same time. And I I was like, I'll get the hang of this after a couple of races. And I kind of did, but I kind of still didn't. And I was like, I'm just going to go play Need for Speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't really got nothing to say about Grand Tourism. Because yeah, I'm I, not a, a racer. Uh, I haven't played a racing game in a very long time. But uh, it looked pretty. It did. I mean, when it comes to racing games, 100% of it is gameplay. Yeah. Right? Because, like, it's ra- it's all racing all the time. Yeah, there's literally nothing else So, like, do, depending probably, on how like the vehicle handles or how the controls handle when you're driving, like, that <laughs> yeah. is the entire game. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, you gotta buy different parts, you gotta buy different cars, you know, Maybe. all that shit. That's, that's pretty much the only other gameplay I can think of. That's a part of the game. Right. So. Than that. But yeah, uh, Gran Turismo. Turismo. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of racing game fans out there. I don't know. I feel like racing games have sort of declined in popularity. Um, yeah. I think like sports games in general. Have. This might help. I don't know. Like racing games, uh, I like. I don't like playing like a, a sport sport game, like a like a contact sport type game. Yeah, I don't really like playing any of those. Yeah, I played a bunch of Madden when I was a kid because my brother was like, "Hey, come face me in this <laughs> football game on the PS2," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, just a quick side thing. The fucking uh, NBA 21. Yeah, 2K21. Uh, It looked like this dude, it showed a guy from the New Orleans, what was the team? Pelicans, I don't know. It may have been Pelicans, I don't know. Uh, This (laughs) basketball player in the NBA from this New Orleans team, and he was like, hey, my name's whatever. He had like AirPods in his ears, so it made it look like he was about to Play yeah, the game. I mean, he wasn't even looking at the camera. He was looking at it off to the screen, off to the side. I was like, yeah. oh, and he was like in this white room. I'm yeah, like, it looked gonna... like, and he was sitting down. So yeah. it looked like he was going to like play the game himself. Yeah. But then it just cut to a trailer of like him in the video game. Yeah. Just 
practicing by himself taking shots at a goal and doing a slam dunk and it did a zoom in on his face where there was a bunch of sweat. Yeah. It was like really like photorealistic graphics and that's what they were really trying to Yeah, show. but it didn't show a game. No. It didn't show two teams facing each other. No. It didn't show more than one court. It was just him dribbling and sweating. Yeah. That's that that's the trailer. Yeah. So shit. Yeah. It wasn't good. <laughs> I'm like and plus, who the fuck gives a shit about the photorealistic shit? It's like, you you don't even, you're not even up close. When you play a 2K game, it's like so zoomed out because, yeah. like, you got to see the court. Yeah. So, like, why did the photorealistic grab? Because, like, that's, that's one thing about, like, sports games that they're really trying to push is, like, this photorealistic graphics. It's like you're really there. Like, you're really playing the game, man. But when you're playing, like, football. You're so fucking zoomed out. You don't even see their faces. Yeah, you got to see like the entire field. You got to see like the, uh, what is it, 11 players on each side on football? Oh, I, no. I don't quite remember. But you got to see all the, all the players on both sides. Like you don't get a first person view when yeah. you play Madden. And you know same what would thing be, with FIFA. You know what would be cool as shit? First person If you Madden. got a first person view while you played Madden. I'd play that. That'd be pretty interesting. Like you're the fucking quarterback and you see the fucking ass of the snapper in front of you <laughs> and then you're like you, you see your little hands out to catch the ball and you're like bam and then you're like you're like moving backwards and you hear yourself you hear yourself like <gasps> you know yeah. and then you see yourself like extend your arm and toss the ball and then maybe like it follows the ball through the air and then you control the character that catches the ball or runs the ball anyway. Yeah. So then it could just have, like, once the ball hits their hands, it goes into the POV of that person, mm -hmm. and you could just keep going. Yeah. And you can, like, if you have, like, real good headphones on, you can, like, hear the people behind you, like, either like, yeah. getting closer and closer. That's the thing. PS5, so I was talking about this or while we were watching this, but Sony said they did not want to reveal the PS5 until they had gotten their 3D audio right. Mm-hmm. Um, cause they were really wanting to work on this 3d audio cause they were doing it all within their own company, all in house. And they're making this audio to where it sounds three dimensional. Like yeah. if something's farther away, but in front of you, it sounds like it's far away, but it's in front of you on your headphones. Yeah. And if it's like right fucking behind you, it sounds like it's right fucking behind you. Like it sounds like everything has distance and, and depth, you know? Right. And, so, uh, so that'll be really cool. Um, that would be even better for Madden or a sports game if you had a first person view. <laughs> Cause then you could like hear all the motherfuckers chasing you and shit like that. Or oh, that'd like, be intense. All the bodies clacking together off the line. Like, that'd, that'd be intense. Like like you have like the real good headphones that have real good audio. Yeah. And you're like running, but you hear those fuckers like creeping up on you. You hear like, the fucking <laughs> footsteps of some fucking like linebacker chasing your ass down. Yeah. Yeah, that that'd be pretty interesting. That'd pretty much be the only time I ever play a fucking sports game that I actually made it first person. Yeah. So I can like I don't know, that'd be pretty That would be neat. That would. I'll play that. But anyways, anyway, uh Yeah, that was that. Uh what do we have left? What, uh, what do we have left? Uh, we got four games left, and I've just like been kind of remembering shit and putting it back and putting it on the list. Right. Uh, we got Horizon Forbidden West. It's a sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon, like we said, like we were talking about in our last podcast, Horizon is a prime example of how you do a female protagonist right. Yeah. Because she's just there mm -hmm. and she's capable. Yeah. And it's not constantly like. Oh wow, she's a woman. Yeah. Oh wow, a girl can do this. Yeah. Or like men coming up and being like, "You can't do that. You're a woman." You know, yeah. like you're just you're just Aloy and you're fucking kicking ass. Yeah. Same thing with the that Kenna game they showed. Yeah. You're just a girl and you're fucking kicking ass. Yeah, and like uh, this other game, Project Athia. Project A Athia, yeah, Athia, whatever. They didn't, can't, can't. They didn't say the name. Yeah. They just showed it. A T H I A. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> go. Yeah. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West. So you come out. I don't know where Zero Dawn takes place, but basically you head towards America in mm -hmm. the Forbidden West, yep. and I'm assuming you're in Seattle type area, or at least you know in that general region. I have no idea. Because like you see the. Golden Gate Bridge. I'm pretty sure that's in Seattle. 
isn't it? Golden Gate Bridge. I don't. I don't know. I don't think that's in Seattle. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know my American landmarks. Well, mm-hmm. I don't know landmarks. Period. Really, I don't feel like the Golden Gate Bridge is in Seattle. Let me look this up. Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco. Ah, man. Sort of close. Yeah. <laughs> It's in that area because uh, you go through there and like there's desert you can go through. So I'm assuming like, that's more south towards um, Nevada, well, I guess. California has deserts. Yeah. So I don't know. It looks really interesting. Uh, there was a turtle. There was there a was, giant turtle. There was a giant fucking mecha turtle. Big fuck all mech turtle. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming they're going to go more to depths of... Uh, the controlling of the robots because in one of the scenes um that fucker with the blue tubes running in his head um he was very prevalent in the first game uh him and whatever group that he was with was like trying to tame a boar big Me- ass mecha boar yeah. yeah so but there's something going on in the world where like something is just killing the wildlife killing the plants and it kind of looks like Hades again, but from what I could, from what I remember, Hades was destroyed in the first one. And um, I don't, I don't know if you know this, but um, the Hades is like a rogue AI that was part of uh this project called Gaia, and it was supposed to help repopulate the planet the earth probably because yeah. it's called gaia <laughs> yeah well it was like a group of ais that were like designated to either teach humans mm-hmm. all the history and all that shit yeah and another sort another group of ais were like meant to basically basically make the planet livable again like give it wildlife give it uh plants and all that shit yeah so but hades was one of them and he went rogue and start turning the uh, robots, the animal robots, uh, against the humans. Because like at the beginning of the first game, they would say like oh, it was very easy to hunt these things, but now they're like kill on sight for some reason. Mm-hmm. Even, even though, like the, like some of them were you know hostile because like that's kind of like what they're made out of. Because like one was like it's like a saber tooth tiger type of mech, mm-hmm. and so obviously it's going to be kind of hostile. But then you got like these deer ones that like I guess weren't very hostile, but now are. So basically, all of them are starting to turn hostile. So I, I'm assuming maybe Haiti just making a return, but in America this time. Maybe I don't know. They're trying to siege Gondor. <laughs> on giant war elephants. Oh yeah, the fucking robo elephants. I'm assuming that's like, that's like a nod to when like mammoths were on North America or something. I guess. Because like, why else would you have something elephant like if you're in North America? I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming that where the first game took place was in Asia because a lot of the characters were just Asian looking. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I don't know, because, uh, I mean, there were, like, different races of people, but, like, those just seem like the most prevalent. To yeah. Me. Uh, but, yeah. I don't know, but, uh, did it show any, it didn't show any gameplay, did it? It really didn't, but, uh, Horizon, uh, what they do is that, like, whenever there's cutscenes, they pretty much, um, cutscenes were, were kind of fluent, like mm-hmm. it would go from the cutscene to the actual gameplay. Okay, because I know it showed Aloy just about to like one v one hundred this army of like war elephants and yeah, dudes that, that, in front of war elephants. That could have been uh, just a CGI moment. Uh, I don't know because it yes. showed like it showed her like pulling back her bow, like it, it showed the army or whatever. And then it went to her pulling back her bow and it looked like it was panning around. Like it was almost about to go to her point of view, but then it like stopped. Right. So yeah, it's so yeah. Horizon in America this time. Yeah. But not really America because uh, isn't it like a 
thousand years it's, after it's, now. It's it's thousands of years, yeah. Yeah. Because I don't know. There, there's a whole lot of lore, but yeah, it's it's basically in the American region. Yes. Yes. So. Yes. Uh, that's that. Cool I missed. We got Stray. Stray. Yes. I am excited. Stray's, Stray was one of the first games that they were showing. Yeah, in, it was uh, like the third or fourth game they showed, yeah. something like that. Uh, it starts out just showing a fucking hobo robo. Just like a, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah uh, like a, a fuck, I don't know if he was homeless or not, but he's like this little, like this robot with a little screen face and he's just digging through a fucking dumpster. Yeah. And then it shows like a feline body. It was like a, a shot upward, like from the ground of like a female body jumping across two buildings. Mm -hmm. And then he's still rummaging through the dumpster. And then it's like this black cat just shows up. Yeah. It just kind of walks by him. Yeah. And then it just starts showing the entire society in general. And like, like with almost all the games it showed, it's dark. Yeah. And like, there are a bunch of neon signs everywhere. There's this language that isn't really a language, but looks really close to Korean. Yeah. Um, and it just shows the robots walking around, acting and talking like people. Yeah. There's, there's no humans. It's all robots. Yeah. They're all robots. It showed like what I could, what, from what I could tell, like a robot asking another one behind a counter if he had like cigarettes or some shit. And yeah. the dude, dude like nodded his head no or something like that. Yeah. But like as it goes through these different areas, it's like, the, like the a, cat's like always a there. little cat's like walking along. Yeah. And, and has uh, this cute little backpack on him. Yeah. Even though it shows this black cat in the beginning, the cat it shows next is this like orange tabby or something with a little backpack on his back. Yeah. And that's the one it shows throughout the rest of the trailer. Yeah. And you're just this little, you're just, it's just a little cat running around. It didn't really show objectives or gameplay or if it was a platformer or not. I'm assuming that it's just going to be a very linear platformer. I don't I mean, know. Because like if you have a cat game, what else would you make? Because they're known for being nimble and jumping on the shit. Yeah. I mean, he has a little backpack, so I guess you got to, like, find and collect things. Yeah, you have an inventory Because, like, it, it did, like, go up to this one robot dude's window and, like, meow at him. And I I didn't know if it was, like, delivering something to him. Um, But, yeah. Cat you're, mail. You're going to get to be a little cat and run around and be in a robot society. Uh, good shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, good shit, dude. I'm gonna play Cat Simulator. I'm down. And uh, Cat Simulator, that's actually good. Yeah, sure. Wait, yeah. what do you mean that's actually good? Oh, uh, they're playing like games where you play as cats, but they're just shitty, like low budget games. Oh. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. So there's that. And then Ratchet and Clank is getting a sequel or, or another one. Yeah. And there are very fragile barriers between dimensions that just keep shattering. Yeah, and you can actually use that to your advantage. Yep. Because you'll be, like, fighting a group of dudes and, like, these, like this, like, crack in the fabric of reality happens. And you, like, take your hook thing and, like, jump towards it. And then you're on the other side of the, yep. not, not, not the other side of the map, but the other side of the, the battle crack. area. Yeah. Yeah. So... It's used to your advantage in some sorts, but you know it's it's a ratchet and clank ratchet and clank game. You know mm -hmm. it, the gameplay doesn't really change throughout from game. That's to game. what Soda Poppin was commenting it on because we were watching it through Soda Poppin stream. Yeah, and he was like, he was like, show the wrench, show the wrench, and like when they showed um, Ratchet hitting something with the wrench, what is the dude? Is the furry dude Ratchet or is yeah. that Clank? Okay, when they showed Ratchet. Getting stuff with a wrench, he's like, "Yeah, there it is." He's <laughs> like, "What do you say? Like eight games in the same animation or something yeah. like that?" Hell yeah, dude! And like they did like a, he did like a jump downward smash attack or something. Yeah, he's like, he's like, like "Yep, yep." There's that move. Yep. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. So apparently, the gameplay is going to be very similar to other yeah. Ratchet and Clank titles. It seems. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're going to change weapons up because that's like the only thing that they really do. They did show. In the gameplay, like this is the game they showed the most gameplay for. Yeah. Um. There's like this little selection menu, and as you select a different like weapon thing to use, it does pause the game. Mm -hmm. Um. That's this guy brought out this like. He brought out this sprinkler, 
that when it sprays stuff on the person, it freezes them. Mm-hmm. I guess it might just be like an ice beam or something. Yeah. But then after he put out the sprinkler, he swapped to these things called shatter bombs and he threw them at the frozen people and they shattered into pieces. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know if there's going to be that sort of like gameplay where like one weapon complements another uh, or, so. or, or if they could have just shattered anyway. Yeah. I don't know. I hope so. Like the shatter bomb just like just does massive damage. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. And then like at some point when they're hopping through dimensional walls, they get separated and yeah, then Clank, Clank gets fucking tossed into like what looks like a dystopian future where, yeah, where like the, the bad, bad guy, guy wins. Yeah, the bad guy won. And then it shows this like female ratchet hop down and she's yeah. like, Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was because like Clint was like, "Oh no, Ratchet, we lost," and she was like, "Excuse me." Yeah, uh, she's basically a yeah, Ratchet, but blue and female. Yeah, so like obviously you're gonna be playing as both characters through the game. Like you're gonna be playing as Ratchet, and then it's probably gonna go over to Clank and the and the chick, and you're gonna do stuff with them yeah. and back and forth, and then you're probably gonna meet somewhere in the middle between dimensions or something. Yeah. So, interesting shit, you know. Yeah, it's look, a Ratchet and Clank look game. Look good, yeah. Look good. Can't go wrong there. Hopefully, lots of gameplay there. If you if you want to check out the gameplay, yeah. If you haven't already, if you weren't one of the like two million people <laughs> watching <laughs> it. And uh, last but not least, Project Athia. That looked like a really cool game. It looked super cool. So it was only cinematic. There wasn't like any gameplay shown. There was tiny gameplay but, where like she was like jumping. From like rock to rock and like kind of using her magic. Yeah. So like it just shows this chick again, very dark environment. Mm -hmm. Um, And it shows this young looking woman. I don't know if she's in her teens, 20s. Who fucking knows? Yeah. Um, She's like hopping around and then shit shows up and then she just uses like fucking druidic or witch magic and like makes a <laughs> shitload of roots come up and like bind the things. Yeah. Um there's a dragon. There's a giant ass giant dragon, dragon with like a f- with fire in his chest or yeah. something that like comes out of nowhere. Yeah, but that that was 100% CGI. That wasn't yeah. any gameplay at all. It looked super cool though. It does. I I'm really interested cuz like I want to be a fucking sorceress chick fucking yeah. things up. That yeah. Sounds again, dope. again, it looked like a really good representation of a female protagonist. <laughs> like it doesn't shove it down your fucking throat that it's a woman doing it. Yeah. Or at least it doesn't look that way right now. Yeah. And you're just a badass. Yeah. There was this other one, a, a Square Enix game. I couldn't find it in the list right here. There was a Square Enix game. Yeah, I can't there was. remember what it was. Oh, uh, what was it? I, I really didn't. It really didn't look all that interesting here. I'll try to look it up right now. Uh, was it? Was oh, that was Project Athea. It was okay. Or Athea, whatever. Athea. So yeah, Square Enix, Project Athea. Yeah, big AAA company. Yeah. Gonna be a nice, gonna be a nice game. It's gonna look real crisp on the ray tracing. I could swear it was like a different character, but yeah, it is. And it kind of looks like it could be a Souls game, or Souls type game. You know what I mean? Perhaps. Perhaps. Who knows? Yeah. But it looked cool just from like it had a really short trailer like it was like the perfect thing to build hype for yeah. the game. It was the best way you could build hype for a game when having no gameplay for the game. <laughs> yeah. So short trailer showed some power, showed a big fuck all enemy yeah. and then it was like project easy. Yeah. So I I'm definitely excited to see what is to come. So yeah, those are that was a list of the games that we thought were the most interesting. Of course, you got a bunch of the indie shit that I'm like... Yeah, there are a bunch of indie games yeah, that I, I didn't like, really have an interest in. I know for a fact some of them are going to come to PC, so I don't know why the fuck PlayStation is advertising them. Uh, just to let you know, I guess. I don't know. I guess. So now let's uh, get to what the PlayStation looks like. So we got you, this... Are you reporting on the scene? It, I don't, <laughs> he took his mic out of the stand and he's holding it like a news report. Because like, I, I didn't want to like constantly move the fucking stand, so I thought it would just be easier just to hold it like this. Right. So 
you know, because uh, I, I would be like getting an awkward position to look at shit. So or just uh, to sledge with the weather. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this I, I really do enjoy this new look, and I I don't understand why one is just a digital one and one is has the CD. It's it's getting to be that way now, you know. Yeah. Like we're we're definitely moving farther and farther away from physical media. Yeah. Um. So like when they first revealed it, they just showed the one with the disc drive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they were like, boom, did this big old reveal, and it's like this nice slender, like white tower with a stand. Yeah. And then it's got like a little bump at the bottom for the disc drive space. Yeah. Right. Well, it made sense. And then. And then, like, after they showed that and the controller, then they did, like, this... Then, then they showed this screen yeah. right here where it had both of them. I was, we were like, whoa. Yeah, it's like the digital edition. Like, I, if, you, I, if you don't want to buy physical games. I do think that without that bump, it looks a whole lot better. Yeah, it's way more aesthetically pleasing I mean, w- I'm without gonna, the disc drive. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, all the games on my PlayStation right now are digital. I have more digital than I do physical. I have more digital than I have physical on my PS4. Yeah. I don't know why, but I feel kind of bad about that. I don't know. There's like this whole thing about like collecting the actual game and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Um, that's my thing. And they're definitely going to become more and more collectible as time passes because eventually video games are just going to be all online. Eventually, yeah. And then GameStop will die. I mean, because that's that's entirely how Steam works. And Steam is like one of the biggest... Yeah. um, platforms every pc game i have is digital yeah so yeah, i don't have a single physical disc for a yeah, pc game the digital digital age the physical age is dying but yeah so uh you can't they never really showed the back of it so i don't know what type of ports they're gonna have because like they showed two ports but they're both on the front yeah and i have no idea what the fuck that is because like one is actual usb there's port, a usb and, and one I, looks like one of these there's like plugged into the microphone it looks like a fucking charging port I, I think I, it's a USB C. Like, does it look like a little oval? Yeah. If it's a little oval, it's probably a USB C. Who the fuck uses those? Newer cell phones, especially Samsung. Uh, I think they use USB Cs to charge, and yeah, you'll probably like, you'll probably get that type of cable with the controller to charge it with. Maybe. Um. So, what you don't see is you don't see the headset, and you don't see the camera. Oh, I can I can scroll that over. Okay. Yeah. Show that real quick. Yeah. Yeah. The whole setup. Here's and mine. a remote. I forgot about that. Yeah. So on either side between the black and the white plastic, there are a, a shitload of vents Yeah. at the top. Um, and then, oh, it, it mentioned something about the controllers. I forgot what term it used, but it basically just showed a bunch of material moving around as the controller like vibrated and stuff. Yeah. It's supposed to be like, have like this new, we're like, it doesn't just vibrate like you can sense shit or something. I don't know. Yeah, like you'll be able to sense things with the controller in your hands. It said it had like reactive triggers or something. Yeah. Like the triggers were going to respond to different things. I don't know if it shows it here. Um, It showed like a big old HD camera, like a webcam that's not yeah. attached to the PS5. I imagine all of this shit is going to be like wireless. Yeah, so. I guess so, but they're all going to have batteries within them, then, and they're going to need to be recharged. Well, I, I'm curious, like, is like, if you buy one of these, does two controllers come in? Does a remote come in? Does a fucking headphones and the camera come with it? I think what's going to come with it is I think you're going to get, well, obviously the console. Yeah. I think you're going to get one controller. Right. Um, and then the remote. And then I think the headphones and the camera are probably going to be like an optional thing. Well, the headset might be, but like, I think at least the camera is going to be yeah. optional. Yeah. I think the headphones might come with it because if they're like, cause they're really, really pushing this 3d yeah. audio. Yeah. So like, of course they're going to be like, have their own headset decks going to be able to do this shit properly. Right. So, but I, I if I, if I was, a, if I was a betting man, I would bet that that camera is going to be an optional thing. Yeah. Because uh, most people aren't going to want a camera in the first place. Yeah. Unless you're doing the VR shit on it. Yeah. Like, I guess it's good for the PlayStation VR, which I haven't really seen much for that in a long time. 
And yeah. then uh, I guess if you stream on the console, because you can stream on consoles. Yeah, but the interface is so shit. Yeah. It's so ass. So Even to watch. <laughs> yeah, I have a friend that streams on his PS4 sometimes. And like, cause you can't do anything with like Streamlabs or OBS or anything, right? Yeah. So, like every time a viewer comes in or leaves, it'll like the little red recording circle will come up, and the number will go up or down on his screen, and like, Ugh. yeah, like you can't really get rid of that. Or if you can on the console, let me know, and I'll let him know. Yeah. Um, yeah, the gameplay itself looked fine i mean i've watched his streams before like yeah. the, the quality's all right yeah but yeah um there you go you can get it with a disc drive you can get it without a disc drive i don't know if they have said anything about hard drive space yeah well, they really haven't said anything i say hard it. drive there's a solid state drive um but we don't know the the, the um right we don't know if they're gonna go like does playstation currently have like a cloud service uh, f- i think kinda, they do don't yeah. they yeah yeah so i guess with the digital one if you are already utilizing the cloud for your playstation account needs and games then there you go yeah because like some of my games will like save to the cloud yeah so it's like if, if i if i delete a game then come back onto it even though the memory of the uh whatever save game data I had, you know, it's off of your hard drive. Like yeah. it's, you still wind up where you were before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's what we were, we were talking about that earlier with Grand Theft Auto. Like when you get Grand Theft Auto on your PS five, you'll probably just be where you were on the PS four. Oh, I hope so. Cause like everything on your account should carry over more than likely. Yeah. Well, yeah. But yeah, there you go. It has a remote. Apparently the PS four has a remote right now. I mean, yeah, because like even like from from PS3 even to PS4, they w- they would like show that you can get a remote for it, but I guess you probably have to like buy it separately, separate separately. Maybe. I mean, the the remote might not come with the PS5. Yeah. Who knows? That's just like right now. That's every available accessory for it. Yeah. Controllers. It looks like a charging station. Yeah, I think they made their own charging port. Um, the camera, the headphones that I'm assuming have a mic somewhere. I don't see it. I don't see a microphone. Oh, no, no, the microphone's in the controller, remember? That's right. That's what they advertise. They're like, the controller has a microphone in it. And both Sledge and I were like, that's going to be a shit microphone. Yeah, it's going to be ass. (laughs) Hopefully a game that, or a company that was so, like, prideful on their own audio quality has a good microphone in their controller. Yeah, you. I would hope so. It's like it's a, this is a million dollar company. You better, uh, they better fucking have a good microphone in that shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We'll, and we'll see. I was telling, I was telling Mal earlier, but like, I fucking hate the controllers now because they're just trying to be Xbox. And why yeah. the fuck would they're you like, want to try to do that? They look wider. Yeah, and less comfortable to hold now. Yeah, I mean, because like. Because the current controller now is very fucking comfortable. The thing is, like, every time you make a new console, you do not have to change the controller up. Yeah. They didn't for fucking three years or three generations. But two, three, and four? Uh, one, uh, no, like one, two, and three. I mean, the only thing they changed up in the one was put joysticks on it. Yeah, that was like yeah, later. They did, they did that like into the life of the PS1 though. Yeah. yeah. But after that, it was the same fucking controller from one yeah, you're right. two and three. Yeah, because not until the PS4 did it get like the curvy grips or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, they could have just kept the original controllers. And if I if if they fucking let me, I'm gonna just connect my PS4 controller to the PS5. I mean, it does have the same buttons. They kept showing triangle circle x square triangle circle x square triangle <laughs> circle x square triangle circle x square um i mean I'm, and also it has a fucking touchpad so that doesn't that that hasn't changed yeah um so I, I, this is the way it sits it sits upright it is definitely not made to be on the side anymore because yeah. you can see that the top white bits flare outward yeah. where the vents are I mean, even the stand is just connected to the black bit. 
So it's yeah. This is how it's going to be, which I think is okay because free up room, I guess. But I, I mean, like with the with the three sixty and the one, like standing it up on its side was already an option, and then with the PS four, like standing it up on its side was an option because they sold a stand for the PS four. Yeah, it was an option, but I don't know a single person who does. My friend who streams on the PS4 <laughs> <laughs> has a stand for it to sit upright. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it looks like it's just going to be upright from now on. So if you have a cat that likes to jump all over things or a dog that can get up where you put your console, maybe consider another location because this <laughs> thing looks like it'll probably... I mean, the, the base is wider than the console itself, but you know... It, it's go, it's you you fucking flick that bitch. It's toppling. Yeah, yeah. Just just be careful. Yeah. I mean, if you have the the disc port, uh, the the disc tray, uh, you're in luck because you'll probably have a more bottom heavy PS5. Oh yeah. So <laughs> it probably won't topple over as easily. Yeah. But just just be careful where you put it if you get one. Mm-hmm. Around November twentieth. Most likely, yeah. So. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's the news. That's, that's the news. Thank you all for coming by, and thank you for letting us tell you stuff you probably already knew. Man, they're, they're here for our opinions, because yeah. they care so much. They do care about our opinions. Yeah. All three nine, of two or three of them? Nine subscribers. Nine? We have nine subscribers. Yeah. I don't think we usually even get nine views on our video. <laughs> I think we got seven in our last one. Let's check. Last time I looked, it was seven views. Hey, yeah. dude, we're climbing. Yeah, hey, man. We're cli- seven, seven is seven. something. Seven. Ooh. Hey, that's not bad. But go, there. go all the way back to like a very, like a very first. Dude, we one. we peaked at like fucking what was it? <laughs> Episode eight, the Monster Girls, thirty six views. Wait, we had the most viewers on the Monster Girl one. Yes. We did like two back to back that day because we were going on vacation. Yeah. The other one got 11 views. <laughs> Why monster? How many people are YouTubing up Monster Girls? Dude. Do I, it, monster Girls. Do I need to say more? I mean, no. But holy <laughs> shit. That was also when we were on a schedule, though. We were doing it like every Friday. Yeah. Like I would come to your place after work and we would record. Yeah. Every single week. Like, we were on a schedule. Yeah. And now we're not. Now we're not. Uh, even we though we live together. We we're live, not on a schedule. We've lived together for a few years now, and we have not. Almost two. Almost two. Almost two. Fuck, it's been this a while. It's been a while. It's been one week. Oh, probably can't DMCA. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Enough gabbing. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, yes. Uh, check out us on... Twitter, or not Twitter, uh, Twitch, well, me, mainly. Twitch, yeah, yeah, uh, Sludge has been doing a bit of streaming yeah, I'm now, gonna... uh, because he has a, a monstrous PC yeah. with really good everything, <laughs> so, uh, he can stream. Yes. And mm-hmm. hey, now that, you know, people can't play most music, it's not so bad that there's not music playing oh, <laughs> on yeah. the stream. That's another topic for another time, but yeah, stay tuned. Cause we are out of time. We are out of time. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? All right. Goodbye y'all.